Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, I hope everyone is well. I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. When I get into crafting, <laughs> for some reason, uh, my videos tend to be a little bit longer. I make a bunch of things. <laughs> Most of these things I think are probably a couple years old. I have brought them back out because I wanted to do something with them and I haven't been able to do anything with them. I was thinking of maybe creating a shop um, and I'm still waiting to hear if that's something that you guys are interested in. Um, but I have a bunch of pieces that as you can see, I have yet to finish. I was starting to complete some pieces, uh, maybe, I don't know, a few years back. But I ended up moving, I packed all my stuff away, and then I just haven't brought it back out. So this is the time where we're gonna be bringing everything back out. I have recently bought uh, mold putty which is like a mold maker that you use to make molds of certain things so that's something that I'm going to be kind of featuring in this video uh, as well so I have made things like this this is just a and I think this was just an open bezel and as you can see the gold I forgot what it, it was called it was like a specific gold paint but you can see that it's starting to um, chip away but so what I could do is I could uh, put another fresh paint of gold on there maybe get that off um, and then throw some resin over it just a really thin layer but that's a really cute piece right there um, so anyways I mean I think some of you know but most of you might not know that I do create pieces like this and like I said these are older I haven't made anything new by old I mean I don't know maybe the last within the last maybe two three years maybe maybe four I don't know who knows maybe even longer I think some of these pieces are older some of them are newer so I just have a collection of old and new pieces but as you can see I tried to sand along the edge and now it looks like that so I'm like so but what do I do now so I don't know if I could just what I was thinking was is just putting a really thin coat because I didn't want any of these edges to be sharp and so now now they're not sharp but now I have it looking like that and I don't want that so I was thinking of maybe just putting some resin over anyway so some of these pieces I most likely will keep for myself some of them I want to do something with a lot of them I was uh, putting a sorry about that I was putting a layer of resin over the backs so some of them are ready to go but some of them definitely need a little bit more work so lots of pieces here I'm just going through it these are thicker I think I might turn these into coasters since they are really thick as you can see so I think I might although they're not huge so it would fit like not a huge mug but probably like a regular sized proper mold or mold mug not mold and um, these two are really thick so that's why I have them together I was thinking of making coasters with them I was thinking of maybe making this into like kind of like a bathroom decor for my bathroom putting maybe two eye screws in here and then maybe adding what's that string can't remember not kitchen twine I can't remember what the name of the string is. I know exactly what string I want. I just can't remember the name of it at the moment, but this is actually a real star. What is it? Starfish? I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't think or speak. <laughs> Probably because I just woke up not too long ago. Okay, I'm trying to think. Is that really, not really working, right? Okay, so let's try to wake up together. I have, I told you guys, I have a bunch of different pieces. Hold on, let me just 
try to pick up this little tiny piece. I don't know if you guys have heard of steampunk. Some of you might know. Some I can't get it. Some of you might not know. Here, I'm going to show you guys, though. This is Yudi. I don't know if you guys have heard of a melting pot, but I have a melting pot, and this is Yudi around it. It's like an embossing powder, and I put resin oh, in the middle. I was just being really kind of just, when I was creating this, these things, or when I create them, my mind kind of just goes all over the place, and the creativity just kind of pours on out. So I have a couple of, couple of bottle caps. Remember when these were really popular? I remember getting a, not a bunch, but I think I got a few bottle caps from maybe Michaels. And I started creating things like this. So these are really, really cute for keychains. I think some people even wear them as necklaces. These are my, I know I have a few more somewhere around, but these are some steampunk pieces just with um, little watch parts watch pieces and I remember when this was really popular these are just dried flour in some beauty and then with some resin in the middle so when I create I try to just kind of think of all the possibilities I like to kind of use up things that I have that maybe I haven't been using for a while and I kind of like to use it up as you can see here see I still have some sanding to do but these would be beautiful necklaces I think or keychains they're a little big for keychains um, I just have, sorry guys, I just bumped you. I just have a bunch of different pieces here I was working on the other day. This one can use another coat of resin. Really cute. These actually have uh, strawberry, real leaves inside, real strawberry leaves inside. Can you see that? Um, these pieces were hand painted by me. could see but of course they need to be finished you see there's a little lip still so I have um, you know space to put more resin just giving you a little overview of a couple of things so anyway um, the point here is I want to here's another little bottle cap with a sticker inside excuse my cuticles I usually put oil on guys and I forgot to I just got out the shower and you know you're supposed to always moisturize <laughs> and look I just got on camera forgot to oil sorry about that guys sorry 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 nobody want to see that nobody wants to see that I really did just got out the shower and I forgot to Make sure that we were good to go. Hello, I just jumped on camera. Okay, so there are some pieces under here as well. Let's see if I can get to them. Here is a, I think this key I got from maybe Michael's or Joanne's, and I added, this is actually a UV gel over this, and I started experimenting with that. And I have a couple of other pieces but of these keys, but I have no idea where they are. And that's not good. This is probably another piece that's going to be a coaster. So under here, I have some pieces that I was working on. So you see there's some more bottle caps. These over here are earrings I made. Here's an ice cream cone. Some pieces that I wanted to work on. Anyways, guys, this, I mean, if you'd like a full review of kind of everything that I have, then let me know. I think I've done that once or twice before. But if you'd like for me to do it again, then please let me know. I just, I have so much and I don't know if I can show it in a whole video. I kind of like to take my time and show everything and I know, I don't know you kind of get these people that <laughs> you get people that want to see really long videos and then there's some people that just want to see a few minutes so I try to keep it in between but sometimes it'll be in between sometimes it'll be longer sometimes it'll be shorter so I, I really try to focus on the length of my videos okay moving on so let's show you the mold putty that I'm going to be using okay I create stuff like this as well these are polymer clay, so I have polymer clay cupcakes. Just a bunch of stuff that I need to do something with. Obviously, some of them I will keep for myself, but I'm going to see if I can try to make a mold out of this entire cupcake and then try to make resin cupcakes out of them. So that's something I have in mind. These are UD cake bases or cupcake bases that I was trying to make the other day I thought maybe I could make the resin the rest of it resin 
because for some, I don't know. I remember when I was playing around with Yudi a couple of years ago, and it was not as hard. I don't know if it's the embossing powder, or, but it's really hard to pour that stuff before it just kind of freezes in place. It literally just gets hard within seconds, so it's it's kind of difficult to play around with. A couple pieces here I want to see if I can make a mold out of. So we will see. These are some more UD pieces. This is another steampunk piece. Resin inside. I thought this would be cool to fill in with resin. You guys have seen the little cupcakes. Or not cupcakes. Pop-tarts. I have some wood pieces that I've made in the past that I want to finish. They don't have any resin on them at all. As you can see, they're just wood pieces. I have made pieces like this but are there are I think they're square yeah they're square they're not oval like this and they do have resin on them but I have shown them before so if you maybe look back through my resin videos you will see those pieces so now I have these are a bunch of pieces that I have made with either resin or clay and I would like to try to make molds out of these so if you have any sort of piece, whether it's a anything at all, you can make molds out of jewelry, clay, you, I mean anything that you can press into a mold that you'll be able to get out, um, you should be able to make a mold out of. I wouldn't put anything in there that you think that might not come out of the mold. I don't know if there's specific things that you can't put into mold, like food that you're going to inge ingest again. That sounds really silly, um, but please don't uh, eat anything that you're going to put into the mold. I actually don't know if it's food grade. It could be... I'm just reading, can be used with resin, polymer, clay, plaster, wax, soap, chocolate, let me see, uh, butter, fondant, gum paste, and more. Well, I guess it says you can use with gum paste, so maybe it is food safe? I don't know, I just wouldn't do it. Anyway, so there's some clay, kind of vintage-like keys that I made in the past that I'm going to try to make molds out of. Gummy bears, just a bunch of, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to make a mold out of that, but definitely... These lollipops, I'm going to try to make a mold out of because I saw some resin lollipops that were the cutest thing in the world, and I really want to try to do that. A gumball machine, I'm going to see if I can try to make a mold out of this guy. A bunch of pieces here, I want to see if I can make molds out of. So all these stars. I even have donuts in here that I think I want to try to make molds out of. Little pieces of candy I thought would be cute for Valentine's Day. I guess any time would be cute to make those. So we're going to see what we can do with these pieces. So I'm going to get the mold maker, and we're going to try to make some molds together. And also, that's seeing if I can make some nail art pieces as well. I really want to see if I can make a mold out of this key. I'm going to see if I can. It's beautiful. It's a keychain. I bought it probably a couple years ago from Michael's with a couple of other keychains. So, but I want to see if I can make a mold out of it. I think it'll be really awesome. So, this is the amazing mold putty. So, as you can see, it says make your own molds for resin, food, soap, wax, clay, and more. This is Amazing Mold Putty. There's a part A and a part B, and they're both 150 grams each, which is a third of a pound. Amazing Mold Putty does say that it's non-toxic and complies with FDA 21 CFR 1772600. Not sure what that means, but I just wanted to make sure that I read it for you. www.moldputty.com is where you can get this stuff. There are some instructions or directions on the back. You can also check out www.alum. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to spell it for you. www.alumilite.com. Didn't want to screw that up for you. Yes, this stuff is made in the USA. If you were wondering, on this side, it does say that you have to mix a 1 to 1 ratio. The work time is 2 to 3 minutes. Demolding time, 15 to 20 minutes. Again, it can be used with resin, polymer clay, plastic wax soap chocolate butter fondant gum paste and more it does say to read the precautions on individual bottles before using keep out of reach of children not intended to be used by children under 13 years of age without adult supervision again you can find this at www.moldpotty.com okay let's get into here because we've done enough extra talking so in the box there is that one but two bottles. Again, I have used this stuff, but it was many, many, many years ago. There are some instructions that you can follow. 
So I just wanted to read something really quickly if you have not used Moon Pity before and you were maybe looking into it. I'm just going to read to you from the special notes here. If intended, use of the mold is for a food application, candy, chocolate, ice, gelatin, cookies, or any other food product. Do not use the mold for pouring any other material into it other than food. So if you are going to use this for food, then I wouldn't put resin. I wouldn't put clay. I wouldn't put UV gel. I wouldn't put anything. Nothing can go into this mold that you're going to make unless you're going to be using food products. So if you're going to use chocolate, if you're going to use it for cookies, you need to simply, or not simply, <laughs> you need to only specifically is what I want to say, use this for food. Okay. So, I mean, that's what it says here. And just reading to you what it says, you want to mix the putty quickly and thoroughly and then apply it over your original. And then you want, it says the demo time will also be Oh, this is extended. Let me see. If you wish to extend the allotted working time of the putty, stick the containers in your refrigerator for an hour before using, and the material will be slightly more difficult to knead together, but it will give you an extra minute of time to mix. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. So this stuff kind of, I guess, tends to mo oh, come together maybe kind of quickly. So what it's saying is... If you want to prolong the time that you can mix it together, pop it in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator or freezer refrigerator for an hour before using and it will give you an extra minute of time to mix and form the material around your original so um definitely read this cured mold putty read this if you're wanting to kind of play with this i would read it over first i have used this in the past again so um i already know how to work with it you just open it up and it looks like this there's a part a, which is the white, a part B, which is the yellow. So the piece that you want to mold is going to need to be dust and dirt free. So make sure that you um, have a piece that is dirt and dust free. I have already done that. I want to try to make a mold of this entire cupcake. So we're going to try to do that together with this amazing mold putty. So again, you're going to take equal parts A and B, mix them together, and then you're going to create a mold. After that mold is done mixing, you're going to insert your piece right into it and then allow it to cure and then you'll be able to pull it out and use it for whatever you need to. In this case I want to make some resin pieces so that's what I'm trying to do here. Okay so I'm going to take A and B. I'm not sure how to really explain this to you guys about the amount but what I do a little secret is what I try to do is one you want to make sure that you have enough mold putty so that this guy can fit into it so I think I'm going to take a little bit more I think this is about the size of the cup cupcake about. And so then we would have to take the same exact amount of A as we took of B. So I'm just going to put that there for a moment. And try my best to get the same amount of A. And if I notice it's too much, then I'll put some back. I think it's really about eyeballing. Unless you have maybe some sort of, some device that kind of will weigh it. Maybe a scale or something, I'm not sure. These are about the same. See that? About the same size. So now what you do is you mix them together. Let me cover that up. And you're just going to mix, mix. And when you start mixing, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see yellow and white mixing together. Excuse my really loud neighbors. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. We're already making a lot of noise. Cool. So after a few seconds, you should have like a pale kind of yellow. And if you keep mixing, you should have something that looks like this. Okay. So you don't want to see any white in this. But don't worry because you have a little bit to mix. It's crazy because years ago, I never used this entire thing. I think I maybe had, I used all of this up. And I think I had maybe that much left on the bottom of each. So the other day I found it. And I was like, oh, yeah, cool, mold maker. I can make some some molds. And this is the reason why I got these new. Um, and so when I went to go use it, it was actually still really pliable. Like, it, it was just like this. But for some reason, the mold just wasn't curing. Like, you would touch it, and it literally was just like this after curing. So I had, uh, you know, I knew that it was old. So if you have some of this stuff and it's old, you might want to get some some new. I can already feel it's stiffening up and you don't want to take it too far where you can't 
you know, you don't have enough time to, to mold it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it in like a little ball shape. And you want to try to make sure that you don't have any of these creases. It's kind of hard to make mold, but th you want to work quickly because I already feel it starting to, to set. And this is, this was not, this was not happening with my old, old putty, so. Sorry guys, I'm just going to keep going until I feel like all of those creases are out. See, it almost looks like two pieces. You don't really want that. I'm going to try to pinch that together. Pinch it, right? And then I'm going to go over again and keep checking it as I go. If it needs a little bit more pinch, you guys have to be really quick with this stuff. I wouldn't, you know, worry too, too much about if there's creases, but you don't want something like that. Okay, we need to be quick or else this is just going to be a ball of mold putty. Okay. I'm going to leave that part towards the bottom. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece and you're just going to push it in the mold. And I'm going to take the rest of my mold and kind of sort of pull it and push it down at the same time. See, it's already setting, so it's it's actually getting kind of warm, and it's not wanting to stay in there. So see, you only have a couple of minutes, and I think this guy will only work for the top of my cupcake. I might have to kind of use another base for the cupcakes or make more, or just, I, I think I'll be okay with these guys over here. I'm just adding resin to them. So that should be fine. I'm going to actually hold my hand over here just because it was starting to cure. And I will be back. Don't know if this is going to work. I hope it does. I'm just going to hold my hand over this for, I don't know, maybe a few minutes as you can see. Can you hear that? It's already, that's why, <laughs> like I, when I was making it, that's why I was saying that you have to be really, really quick. That right there is not going to bother me because it's not the inside of the mold. I'm hoping when we take it out, it doesn't look terrible. I tried my best. So I'm going to hold on to this. As you can see, I'm kind of just pinching it. It would have been great if I got it over that little chocolate chip, but that's okay. Or that little sprinkle. That's okay. It got most of the sprinkles. Just going to hold it there. And in a few minutes, we should have something. That looks like this and like I said I didn't make these molds so as you can see you know other people have difficulties with making them you know super perfect it's you really don't have a lot of time you only have a few minutes and you can see this was a good chunk of mold putty to make this cupcake base I think we should be good to go here let's see I don't want to pull it too early, so let me just give it another couple minutes. Okay, the fact that it's hard on the top is a good indication that it might be ready to pull. Really, I wanted to cover the entire cupcake, but that's okay because we have a cupcake base. This is just practice. This is our first mold in so many years. Just be very careful not to break your cupcake. there we go there is our mold now i would have to see by pouring in here what exactly this top is going to look like it looks like a good size cupcake top they look like they would go really good together so i'm excited to pour some resin in here and get in these little sprinkles do them all sorts of different colors the icing itself which is the swirl here we could do that a separate color. I don't think we got much of the cupcake. So 
what I did, oh no, I think this one was sent to me as well. This is a, but it was many years ago again, like I said, when we were trading this a little tiny hair or fiber. I don't know what that is. Okay, so here we have a cupcake base. Not base, the cupcake top, which would be this brown part here. The actual cupcake. So we have that, so that would go together. And then we have a little dollop of whipped cream, which is not in any of my cupcakes, as these were handmade by me. The only part that was molded was the bottom. But I made, like, the frosting, I made the sprinkles. These pieces are clay sprinkles. So that would be cool to make different colors of whipped cream. And then you could hand make a little cherry. I could maybe see if I could... I don't know if I've made little cherries with clay before, but that would be cute to add right on top of the resin cupcake. So this is what I'm going to try to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't know how to use this stuff or if you didn't even know that this stuff existed, I hope that you go and try this out. I hope that you use it again if maybe it's been a little while um, and kind of dabble into making molds again. You Again, you can use this stuff for so many different things. It's not just... Um, food, but it literally says resin right on there. So I'm very very excited to use this stuff again Like I said, I've made so many molds in the past. I just wanted to kind of dabble into it again and see what I can do with some resin um, I do have one more thing to share with you Sorry guys, I don't want this video to take too long here, but I have I have two things that I want to share with you guys if you've gotten to this point or finished the video Make sure that you comment down the word cupcake so I know that you watched the entire video. I kind of want to see who's watching and how long you guys are watching for. This is a finger ring silicone mold, size 7. I got a size 7 because I am a size 7. This was purchased on Amazon. I will leave the link below. This is what it looks like. It's really stretchy. And you can see there's so many different ring sizes. And if you can focus i don't know if you can see it but this top row is like a different let's see if we can see it on this side it's kind of like a different design so it has little ridges on it so the ring will come out with a little bit of a design on it and then up here is just circles and that's really what i want it kind of just like a circle ring and if you can i don't know if you can notice but it goes from right to left big to small or biggest to smallest as you can see the size of the holes gets smaller and smaller yeah, so definitely this is my ring right here, or this one, a little bit tighter. Okay, so good. I wanted to make sure that these fit. Let's see my, oh, this one still has a little piece inside. Can you see that? I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I might have to, one, two, three. You see? All these have, is it supposed to be like that? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to figure that out, but I wanted to see where my, Pinky would fit probably this one here. Anything else would be smaller. I'd probably stop right here. But yeah, I'm excited for this. This is pretty cool. And then the other thing I purchased was this 28 pack of multi glitter. It says here case jewelry making. That's what it says on the little label here. And again, I bought these from you. I fell in love with these pieces when I saw them on a specific channel. And I fell in love now she didn't indicate where to get them it probably took me a few weeks just to figure out where i could purchase these from and i found me or finally found them there's little horses these are super kawaii they have oh they're so cute they have um horses there's i think only four hearts i have just a few moons i don't think there's many moons yeah there's four moons beautiful beautiful color and glitter to me they sound like acrylic when they hit against each other i don't know if they're resin although it does say resin on the packaging i don't know if they're resin i'm not you know 100 percent sure i fell in love with these pieces when i saw them and i had to get them for myself these are little wings so hard to find these i could not find them anywhere i don't really shop on aliexpress it takes too long um and I've never really shopped there before anyway. But like I said, there's a few hearts here. I think it only comes with a few hearts as well. And 
some beautiful bows that I can't pick up. And you only get four of those as well. I'm just going to show you three. Another one is down there. So my thinking was I wanted to make my own pieces of these, my own color combinations. And so I was thinking I could make molds of the horse, the moon, the bow, and the angel wing. And I'm trying to figure out, let's see, do I have a left and a right? Yep. So as long as I have a left and right, I think one of the reviews said that she only got one side of the angel wing, like she got all left. So I'm thankful to have a right and a left. You can do so much with these. Super cute. I'm in love with these. Super kawaii. I, super, super kawaii. Super kawaii. Super kawaii. I love them. They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am in love with these pieces here. I can't wait to make my own. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you comment below. Comment Cupcake if you've watched this far. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.